This answers for Eric North's question, which uh, would I prefer going to the Hall of Fame or winning the Super Bowl? Um, that's a tough question because you know I aspire to do both of them, but it's a team, it's a team game, and uh, you always want to shoot for the team goals. And so, winning the Super Bowl is something I definitely would like to accomplish. Marcus, thanks for your question. Um, it definitely does hurt, you know, sometimes when you get hit, and it does especially hurts Monday morning, you know, trying to get out of bed and get to work. At, um, but that's kind of part of our job, you know, you know what to expect when you step out there in the field. It's a physical contest, and, uh, you know, you, you ice it down and get ready for the next week. Arthur, um, you know, faith is a big part of what we do. Um, I mean, we pray as a team. We have Bible study as a team. We do chapel for our games as a team. Uh, we have a lot of guys that are believers, and, uh, you know, we're a tight-knit group on our, on our team. And uh, something that we all hold dear to our heart, uh, you know, leading, starting with Kurt and Anquan and Bertram Berry, we have a lot of strong Christians and guys that um, not only play well but live their life well and uh, say good, good example for people in the community. So. Uh, I'm fortunate to have a team that's uh, really into the ministry. Uh, Seth, what's going on, man? Thanks for your question. I'll say the best thing about the NFL, um, besides the game, is just the relationships you're able to build with your teammates. Um, those are a lot of times lifetime bonds and. I would definitely say that's probably one of the best things about playing in the NFL is just the, the bond that you create with your teammates. Brian, thanks for your question. I would have to say um, my parents have definitely been the biggest influence on my life. Without their leadership and guidance and sacrifice, I definitely wouldn't be here to today. Um, so I have to take my hat off and tell them thank you for everything they've done. Michael, if I had to pick one guy I would say is, doesn't get the publicity or attention that he deserves, I would probably have to go with Antonio Winfield from the Minnesota Vikings. And every time you see him on tape, he's making plays, uh, making tackles, getting interceptions. He's a very talented guy, and um, I think he's definitely underappreciated.